Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So we are going to continue our um, process of the journal. Um, so something that I realized is um, I made the book upside down. Luckily it's for me and it's okay. Um, but the only reason that I know it's upside down is because my trees are upside down. So what I was going to do, like these are upside down from both this page and the cover. So I am going to attempt, I do not know how this is going to work because it is with Fabri-Tac and I'm probably gonna tear it up in the process, but I'm going to attempt to pull this off. It's been sitting here for days so I don't know, but I wanted to share with you guys because I wanted to show you that it happens and it's okay. So I'm going to take this and see if I can't pry this up. And the reason that I'm taking this off is because if I tried to take the page off, I would have to take the page and this off, which the page might be easier and this might be easier. I don't know because I can just flip this around, but then I would have to put something on the back here which wouldn't be that terrible of an idea. It might be easier to take the page off. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot easier to take the page off, I think. So what I'm gonna do is very carefully And it's okay if underneath looks wonky because we're going to cover this up with basically another page. But I want to try to keep this mat as intact as possible. And this ribbon might cause a little bit of trouble. Not sure, but like I said, I really wanted to show you guys because it happens, but we can fix it. So anyway, Wayne is doing well. He's sleeping at the moment. He has a follow-up appointment on Monday. And he should be getting his bandage off Monday. I'm sure she's going to take it off and probably put another bandage on. Not sure exactly. All right, so this wasn't exactly how I intended this video was gonna go, but it's all right. All right. Yeah, I knew this ribbon was gonna be more difficult. Okay, so I got that part off, and, oh, got that part off, and got that part off, okay, so, now as you can see, it looks a little wonky. Now what we can do to make this a little bit more smooth is we can sand it down. So I'm just going to do that real quick. I'll peel up any extra big pieces that we have here. Okay. And just sand smooth any like 
chunky dried glue or anything like that. It might not look smooth, but it does feel smooth. Okay, and this one, we're going to flip our whole book over. And this is actually going to go on the next page here, over here. And then this one is going to go back here. This one is going to go over here. Right. Turn our maps right side up so we know, hopefully, we don't do this again. Hopefully. All right. So now I've got this. Let me untie this, loosen this up just a smidge. The glue is going to help repair that little tear that I decided to do. And let's smooth this out just a little bit. Good. Ah, I have red paper all over me. All right. So let's double check. So yeah, let's take this off real quick. And we can put like a book plate or something back here or something decorative. It doesn't have to be super big like this one. So we've got that little spot right there. We got to fix that. But now our trees are going the right direction. Okay. I wonder how many of you noticed that my page was upside down. All right. So I'm going to put some Fabri-Tac here. it did rip the page just ever so slightly but again if I was selling it I would probably take all this off and redo it completely but I'm not going to sell this one all right now let's move this guy We're just going to do it like this. Okay. And then our page goes like so. Like this. And then it will be upright. Yay. Isn't that too hard? Um. I just wanted to click off of OBS. I forgot to do that. Come out, come out, wherever you are.
Okay, double check that we're right side up. And then layer down. all fixed. All right, I'm going to wait until this little part dries before I tie it, or I could tie it real loose, upside down, because my bow ties don't turn out right unless they're upside down, and even then they're just like all wonky like that, but that's okay. Now it's nice and loose, and it'll have time to dry. No, there we go. There we go. And now it's on the right side. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, so let's put this back. Actually, what we could do is we could put it right here in the middle and we could put like a tie closure right here. Put this here and then put something on the back here. And have it tie in the middle. Let's do that. <clears throat> that actually ends up working out fairly well, this whole little whoop de thing. Alright, so I'm just going to grab, whoop, not fall down to boom, some silk ribbon here. And. We're going to put it underneath here and it's going to tie here like that. All right, so let's put this on here. And I'm going to put it right there. Right. And then let's figure out what we can put in the back. Looks about right. Okay. And now I'm going to pull a whole bunch. Go with that much. I think that much is good. Um, wait, hold that. And we're going to put this right here. Like that. 
right there. And then figure out something to go on top. I'm going to put this one down a little bit. Or glue it down a little bit, rather. Come out. Come out, glue. Come out. So I've got some stickers I think might be cute we can put on the back of this. Okay. There's that. And then... Cut it right there. Let's figure out what we can put on the back of this. Okay, so I did pull some stickers out, but I don't know if these will be suffice. Autumn's Wonder, that's good. Rustling Leaves, ooh, that one's good. We'll do that one. Rustling Leaves. All right, so let's figure out how we're gonna layer this. So we've got some of this orange, I think would look nice. really only need one. Oh, this one's nice too. I think I like that one better. I really hate how this doesn't show up right. I don't know what's wrong with my color thing. With, with why it's not working right. There's that. See, that actually shows up a little bit more of its true color, but when I flip it over, it's orange. Like, doesn't make any sense. What else? What else? All right, we're going to lay this down, so hopefully it will stay somewhat to the end. All right, let's see. What else are we going to do with this? Um, we could layer it with some ribbon, but I think I want to keep it kind of simple. Or not ribbon, but doily. Um, let's see, let me think. I've got some tickets here. Could do one of those. That one's kind of nice. So 
Ooh, that one's pretty colors. Okay, I like that. All right, what else we got? Um, let's see. This right in the middle here. Okay. Just like that. I like those colors. And then let's see what else we got here. This is just some fall stickers that I have, I would like to use. Um, oh, these are cute. These little guys down here. What you say? Rustling leaves. Yeah, those are really cute. All right, let's grab this one. And let's grab our orange again. Like this one too, the acorns. And these particular stickers, this set is a Jolie's sticker set. I'm going to grab these and cut these out. So this wasn't exactly my plan for today. We were going to go over the next page, but <clears throat> someone decided to put their page in upside down. I don't know who would have done such a thing. But I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I enjoy making these. They're a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if I want to do these separately. <coughs> or as one. I think I want to do them separately. But I'm just going to kind of do a rough outline, not a crazy, intricate, fussy cutting like that. Oop, come back here. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
My throat is so dry today. I have no idea why. It's actually really rainy out today, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but my throat is so dry today. But my allergies were acting up big time this morning. I had to take a Benadryl. Last one here. Oops, I don't want to point. There we go. All right. It's not too bad. All this red from me tearing that page apart. All right, so let's see if we can find <clears throat> something. Let's see, we're gonna go here and here. back over there by the way I like this new box that I made it is quite nice okay now I'm going to round the corners of this thing and figure out how I would like to lay this out. I think I'd like to put this down here. And put these. I need another one of these. Over. Just leave that. All right, let's do that. Okay. Come out. Come here, you leaf. Probably zoom you guys in doing all this tiny stuff, huh? right there. Okay. 
a little bit of glue right there. Didn't quite get to the edge of that. That's cute. I like that. And this is the back also, so you don't have to really put anything back here. You just put like a little plate of some sort. Trying to scoot it over just a little so it's centered this way. Because it's off center this way, so I want to center it the other way. All right. Here we go. Voila. So <laughs> that is how you fix a whoopsie. Um, so, yeah. That's, we fixed our page. It's all nice and copacetic now. We'll work on the second page tomorrow. Um, hopefully we'll get both of these done tomorrow. And then we will continue to work on the more the other pages. So, yep, that's that's how you fix it. Oops. Oops. Uh -uh. And you fix the falling out pages by making sure they're actually pinned into your book. There we go. So anyway, I hope you guys learned something from this video, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Just always remember, every mistake is, an, mistake is an opportunity to do something different. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.